Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial about Battlefield 3 Alpha and Beta. So first thing you need to do is you need to download the uh, the files for the Alpha and Beta and my advice to you is to copy them to a folder that is not long in name. So if the name is long of the folder then you might encounter some problems so that's what we do. First things first, set up your Blaze server. So once you go into your Blaze server folder, put your IP here. If you want to play on LAN, then you just need to put your local IP. If you're going to play with public IP, then you will need to put your public IP here. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to play it as offline. So I'm just going to leave it as it is, save it, close it. And once you are done with it, just go with the bat file, run it. And this means that your Blaze server is up and running at the moment. If you're going to play online, with other people, you will need to forward these ports. It's on the README file. Please read this README file so you will see what kinds of information I have provided in here and what you need to do. But let's go with the tutorial. So let's start with alpha. So first things first, we're going to edit here is the config file. Put your IP here, whatever IP you have used in Blaze. If I'm for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it as offline. So Put your IP in here, save it, close it, edit your server bat file, put your server name here for the sake, let's go alpha. Don't forget to change your blaze IP here to whatever IP you are using, save it and close it. Once you've done that, start your server. You will see some connections being happening within the background when your blaze server. Now we're just going to wait. Once we see the advanced game state here, and you see, we will see a game ID here like that. So that means your server is ready to go, so you can join. So one last thing before you join, you just need to go edit here and change your login token to put whatever, whatever uh, nickname you want to use. So I'm just going to go with hardcore. And once you double click on it, it will start. So you just need to wait for the game to load and you should see the loading page there we go so once in game you won't be able to change so many settings so like your mouse sensitivity is not in in the alpha so what you need to do is if you have a mouse that you can change your dpi then you can use that for my uh, experience I have a Razer Death Adder so I can change the um, sensitivity and everything so you can change your squad you can customize change the land and stuff deployment and you can deploy it ready to go only options that you can change is your full screens and graphic qualities apart from that there's not much options available in alpha and that's how you can host and play for alpha so for joining in it's relatively easy whoever is hosting the game they will give you the IP and you just need to change your config file put their public IP in here save it close it and run your alpha client but you don't need to run the server so that's how you can play the alpha now let's go to um, beta so I will relaunch my play server and let's go to servers this time and this time we're going to change your config again you're going to change the IP that you're going to use your public IP local IP or for offline this IP save it close it and then edit your server bat file as well you need to change your blaze IP here you can change your server name if you want to change the ports you can do so if you're going to use the Procon on Beta and Alpha, you will need to change the IP here to your local or leave it as it is like this and change the port that you want to port it to. Once this is done, we're going to save it and close it and we can run it. But before I run it, you can go to the scripts file here and if you want to modify any um, uh, the commands for the server, you can do so. You can change the levels, you can change the game size, and at 
etc. The rest I don't uh, recommend you to change. So once you have done your necessary changes, start the server. Again with the blaze, you can see connection started. And we're going to wait for the game ID again. If your game ID is something different than one, then you will need to change it on your um, batch files in the client. So I will show you that as well once the game is loaded. So game ID here is one. So we have our advanced game state. So what we need to do is we need to go to client, change our config, put your IP in here, save it, close it, edit, change your username here and if the game ID is something different than one then you just need to change this here so in case on my case right now it's game ID one so I'm just gonna leave it that as it is but if it's not one then you will need to put the game ID here as well and then you will need to save and close it and once you run the game it should start So in this, in this instance, it should load a Caspian border map with the Conquest. There's two maps available in beta. It's Caspian border and Operation Metro. Original intended uh, beta phase was for Operation Metro with Rush and password protected uh, Caspian border servers. In beta, however, you can change your options. You can put mouse input, you can change your mouse sensitivity, you can change your, some of the um, settings that you have, your video settings and everything, screen adjust, and you can play. Again, if you want to join somebody else's game, then you will need to get their IP, put the IP in the config file, edit your um, client bat file if the game id is something different then change it to that it can be two or three or whatever it is you can change your login token and then save and close it and once that is done then you're good to go i'll show you how to use the level changer for beta only so these are the levels that is available that you can change to simply you just need to pick one and load the level I'm going to show you something different at this time. Um, Caspian Border Rush, Operation Metro Conquest, large and small. Once you load the game, it will get stuck on the black page, but this means the UI doesn't work on the first time. But once you spawn in the game, it should work. So I'll just show you that real quickly. All you need to do is you need to click on the bottom right of your screen to deploy, and you're ready to go. Once you die, then you won't be getting stuck on the black page in anymore. So once the game is loaded, I'll show you how to go in game. We'll start hearing the game in the background, like the birds chirping and stuff. You will be getting stuck in this page. So what you need to do is go to right hand side bottom corner. And try to There's a deploy button over there. Once you click on deploy, you will spawn in. You won't be having this issue again once you die. So once you die, you will be able to see the menus and change your weapons if you want to spawn in. Everything is still the same. how you can play open beta currently the display server I have uploaded in the game it doesn't have the unlocks so if you want to get the unlocks all the unlocks that is open I will share a file and what you need to do is you just need to replace it with this folder here once you go to your stats default you will just replace this user stats that I will share on my discord 
and you can paste this or change it or whatever you want to do. Once that is done, go back to your stats folder, delete all the folders apart from default. And once you replace the file, you will have all the unlocks in the game. So that's how you can play. I would like to, before I finish the video, I would like to get this side note out of the way because this is something that I encountered. So if you have an IP scheme like this, the third line is zero, then you won't be able to join your own game. So what you need to do is download the VMware workstation real quick. You don't need to create a virtual machine or anything. All you need to do is go to edit, go to virtual network editor, go to VMnet1, you will change the subnet IP to 1.0 and the subnet mask is going to be that. Go to the HCP settings, change your starting IP address to this and your ending IP address to this. Click OK. Click OK again. And once that is done, you will be able to join. All the links will be available in my Discord page. You can take this invite in the readme file that you can join in if you want to. I will put it onto the description for you to join our Discord server to get support and uh, ask your questions if you have or join our game nights if we are doing one. And last but not least, I would like to thank all the people who has put their effort into this and made it work. All these kind people and made this uh, beta and alpha game become reality back again after nine years later so I would like to thank all of you for helping us out and bringing the old versions of Battlefield 3 back so we can enjoy again and for nostalgia I'm NC Hardcore and thank you for watching this video I will, again I will put the discord link into the description so you can join in thank you for watching have a good day